Hey, what's up guys, Nick at Night here. Today covering the new Clash of Clans update. Let's start with the things we can see. I'm gonna break this up into a couple different videos. A, because I'm traveling right now, I'm in San Francisco doing a bunch of different things. I'll be posting on Twitter about what's going on with that. And B, I don't have that much time to edit. I'm just doing these in little segments. Do what we can and get the update coverage out and then we'll jump into it more when I get back home. So right now, my base is in a wacky layout, but it's got some space where I'm going to be able to drop the new building, which is going to be the new Dark Barracks. So we're gonna need some uh, elixir for that. I've got a crap ton of gems. I got 32,000 gems. Let's go all the way to the right and fill up our elixir storages. So we have 8 million elixir right now. You know what? Screw it. Let's just fill up our gold storages as well. Right there. Full gold, full elixir right there. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh man. So full. Okay. Over here, this is my little donation corner. All these troops are going to be pending donations. And once someone requests troops like this, well, of course you want a Max Hound. Loons, of course they both want things I don't have, but they go down that arrow right there and then they just leave the base. So let's go ahead and build our first new building right here, Dark Spell Factory. Boom! Four days, more like no days. Let's go ahead and see what that does at level one. So at level one, it has 10 out of 11 spell storage capacity. And then it has zero out of two brewing capacity. So I could brew two at once and I can hold 11. That's just because I'm a town all 10. Hit points, 600 out of 600, okay, cool. So if we go to brew, we could see that we have our first spell, the poison spell right here. These are the stats, 270, 28%, uh, 95 dark elixir. And that's pretty sweet. So we have a new spell and a new Dark Spell Factory. Let's go ahead and upgrade the Dark Spell Factory to level 2 for 2.5 million elixir. Boom. Six days and done. Alright, now we have a level 2 Dark Spell Factory which moves up from 600 to 660 hit points. It can now uh, brew four spells at once instead of two. And now I have unlocked the new Earthquake spell. So I have an Earthquake spell, level one, which uh, takes off 6% of a building's health and costs 125 Dark Elixir. Sweet, let's go ahead and upgrade the spell factory to level three, and now it's increasing its brewing capacity from uh, four to six, hit points from 660 to 750, and now I can brew all three of the unlocked dark spells, haste, earthquake, and poison. So poison's going to affect troop health, earthquake's going to affect building, wall health, and haste is going to make your troops go super fast. So let's see if we could win an attack with using only dark spells, and if we can, that'll be pretty cool. If not, uh, it might not work out well. We're gonna go over here to our lab, though. Where did I put it? Right here. And now I have new things to research. So all my spells are maxed. You can see the dragon right there. That's tempting to do dragons, but we'll do that in another episode. Um, this is gonna be costing a lot of gems because I just spent about... Um, what did I spend? Uh, 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 uh. 6,000-ish on that spell factory, and now we still have to upgrade all three of the spells that are in it. So let's start with poison and upgrade that to level two. Finish, okay, and then let's do poison to level three. The good thing about this is, I had my dark elixir storage full, so I don't, I'm gonna have to still buy it, which is crazy, but I, okay, so I have a max level four poison spell. Now let's go to earthquake, level two. And I've officially used all of the 200,000 Dark Elixir that I've had saved for months because I don't have anything to spend it on because I have heroes. Um, now I'm going to have to buy full Dark, which is going to be 5,000 gems. Oh man, this is a painful gem episode. Uh, Earthquake spelled level 3. Earthquake spelled a level 4. Hay spelled a level 2. Oh man, and I'm out of Dark Elixir again. What an expensive update. They're, this game is ruining my bank. Okay, right here. Hey, spelled a level three. And hey, spelled a level four. Ugh. 4,000 gems left? I just spent $200 sitting here for like 30 seconds. Okay, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this video because it's, an, it's a $200. It's more than a $200 video. I shouldn't say that out loud because Kelly is actually in the hotel room with me and she's probably going to be upset with me after this. But we have a max dark spell factory with new max level dark spells. So it's going to be one of the most expensive updates that come in quite a while. That thing looks beastly. All my villagers are just walking past it just like throwing a gaze like, what is that? They're all doing it. Look, They're like, what is that? Wow. Brew. Okay. So now we need troops that make sense. Let's go ahead and try to level this out a little bit. I don't need all these wizards. 
Let's see if anyone could be nice and just take them from me. Nah, I'm just gonna have to delete them because no one was requesting wizards. I need this golem right here, and then we'll be good. So now we can see my regular spells are queuing right there. And then I've got my, oh wait, okay, that's pretty sweet. So the spells have been definitely, they've been reduced. So you can see the lightning spell right here is only 20 minutes. Um, and then the dark spell costs, let's go with just a mixture. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go out and drop some troops, and then I'll be ready to attack in just a second. Alright guys, so we're officially ready to go, and I've got my standard army, 4 golems, 2 pekkas, 16 wizards, 6 archers, 1 golem, wizard, and archer in the clan castle, and we're using only dark spells, 3 poison, 4 earthquake, 4 haste, max level heroes, and that's pretty sweet. If I go to edit army, I can actually remove troops right from there. This is one of the craziest updates. The game actually feels almost like a new game. There's like so much to learn and get used to, like the buttons, your, your flow of building troops and going into battle is very different. but. It's a very cool update, so let's go ahead, and I actually want to show you how the spell factory looks when it's brewing a spell. Uh, maybe I'll put that in the thumbnail, it'll be pretty dope. Uh, let's go ahead and find a match, and I'll see you guys when we find the base that we're going to be attacking. Alright, so this was actually the first base we saw this guy's in, Champions 3, which at first is kind of looking like Bronze 3 to me, but I guess it does have the big wings and the champion stuff. Uh, no heroes, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and attack this guy. I don't know which side really. <clears throat> Doesn't matter too much, but I don't have my jump spell, so I've got to keep that in mind. Let's just drop an earthquake on the town hall for fun, or let's drop it actually right here to see what it does. Wow, it just crushes walls. Can we break through these walls right here? <clears throat> I'm going to see if we can break through these walls with just quakes. Okay, now I think it just does more when they have full health. That's pretty cool though. So I dropped two earthquakes so far, and it looks like it stays pretty long, the uh, image. Maybe it stays the whole battle. So next up, let's drop some golems down. I'll drop all four, then I'll go ahead and throw my wizards right behind them, and then I'm going to put my pekkas down. Notice the new, like, purplish look behind the heroes. That's pretty cool. Then I'll drop my king. Let's put some haste down, and some... I don't know if there's going to be any clan troops, but if there is, we can drop some poison. All right, I've got my haste down, which means my troops will be super quick. Um, the, wow, the Barb King just cruises around to the side. All my troops, without the jump spell, it honestly isn't that good of an attack strategy, but it's pretty cool just to try out all these dark spells. That's the whole point of what I was doing here. So the poison spell is only going to affect troops. I wonder if it'll affect skeleton traps. We could try that out in a second here because we're not going to be able to see much else about uh, what it affects. So right now the queen's got a speed boost on her. I'm going to go ahead and activate her in just a bit. Here comes some Tesla Towers. Activate the king's ability. The queen, activate her right now to take out those Teslas. And now I've got, I don't see any skeleton traps armed. Maybe this guy doesn't have any. We just got the two star. And then I'm going to try to take out a building that's low on health that doesn't actually go down with an earthquake if we can. So doing pretty well for not bringing any jump spells actually. Right here the Tesla Tower is uh, getting close to going down. Double giant bomb takes out my queen. And now over here we've got a wizard working on this clan castle. The golems take out the archer tower. We're actually destroying this base pretty well for bringing all dark spells. So dark spells OP. It costs a lot of gems to do it, but uh, try it out for yourself. It's pretty awesome. So right here, the wizard tower is going to go down from those baby golems and a pretty epic first attack, I have to say. Uh, let's just test out an altar, I guess. So an earthquake spell versus an altar. Doesn't do too much. Next, let's just throw a poison just so you guys can hear it if you have not heard the poison yet. You can see it won't do anything there. And then I'll drop one more earthquake. I'm not sure if the king was close to taking any of these buildings out. Let's see. Nope. But if you have a building that's within a certain percentage of health, the earthquake spell will make it fully collapse. I think it's under like 18 or 19 or 20 percent health. Let's see if it's in the description for the earthquake spell. Right here. Um, earthquake spells also cause structures that are almost destroyed to, co to collapse instantly. I'm going to go over here and drop my gold that I bought into all of my walls, aka just two of them, because they cost three million apiece. And that's pretty sweet. Spells are now brewed instead of uh, created, 
and this is going to be a pretty dope update a lot of new strategies to come if you guys find out any good dark spell strategies make sure you drop them in the comments below i'll be bringing new clash of clans update footage in the next couple of videos and as always for everything clash of clans you know what to do because you're already doing it keep it tuned right here i'm nick at night and i'll talk to you guys in the next episode